All right, well, let me start out, Marco, with saying that um, <clears throat> we were up playing golf at Palma Valley with Bill Murray a couple days ago. And I'm telling some stories and everything, and these generals are cracking up all these old retired people that Bill lives with up there. And they ask Bill, they go, Bill, are these stories true? And, and Bill goes, you got to realize when, when Sut's telling the story, it's, it's kind of like, you know, when you go to a movie and it says that it's based on a true story. <laughs> <laughs> Some facts and I mean, that, that brought the house down more so than anything I had said. But let me tell you something. On our friendship right now, uh, this is not based. This is a true story that happened with Mr. Butkus. A buddy of mine, a great friend named Larry Stewart. A lot of you out there might not know that name, but you'll know this name. He was the original Secret Santa. And he lived in Kansas City. We lived there. We went on what he called sleigh rides every year around Christmas, and we would go to, like, thrift stores, and uh, we'd be with uh, the chief of police and the chief of the fire department, and he had to have a lot of security because he carried, I mean, a couple hundred thousand dollars in cash. And our job was just to go to people in that thrift store that looked like they needed it and just give away money. And, you know, he'd give me 10000 or 20000 and you'd just go give it out however you felt, and you'd go back and get more from him. I mean, he was an amazing person. There's been a lot of books written about him and all. So anyway, one, one year he, he, we go to Chicago, and there were some things he wanted to do with some service people up there. And the night before, we did a big sleigh ride. And the next morning, he says, come on, we're going to go to breakfast. And he wanted to go to Buck O'Neill's favorite place. When Buck was a, a coach with the Cubs, uh, we go to this restaurant, we walk in there, and there's the, the chief of police, the fireman, there's all kinds of security around us. And sitting at a big table was Dick Butkus. And I am just like, oh, my goodness, this is like a dream come true. I can't believe this. We all walk over and sit down. And, of course, they wanted me to sit by Mr. Butkus. I sit down, and on our friendship, guys, he hikes his legs up and just rips, just rips a fart, okay? I mean, he just, he just lets one go. And, I mean, I'm like going, I'm, if somebody else had done that, I, I'd have slapped it. But, but I didn't want to get my butt kicked by just sitting there. And he didn't say a word. He didn't act like, and nobody else did anything. Well, I, I mean, all of a sudden, the waitress comes up. And he hikes a leg again, lets one go, and he goes, oh, man, my stomach's just not right. And, you know, a couple of people would walk by, and he'd do it. And, and I mean, by then, the whole table's crying, laughing. I, I, I don't know what's going I don't know what to do. So we get done with breakfast, and we head out. we got to go to this golf tournament where Dick had to make an appearance and ride around in a golf cart and take pictures. Well, around every time somebody would come up, he would, I said, man, how do you do that? And he pulled out of his pocket. There was this little rubber thing that had a hole in it. And when he would squeeze it, 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 it was something. It was called the pooter. Yeah. And Bubba Larry, <laughs> Bubba Larry Stewart has a patent on it. He invented it. And I'm telling you, Butkus was unbelievable at it. Every group that come up there for the picture, he'd do that. Everybody, I mean, it was just, you know, some people, it, it might be, you know, it, it might not be right to do that. He made it funny. I mean, everybody was just cracking up. And every person, including myself, was still thinking it was him until he told me that. Now, for the venture. <laughs> okay, we head downtown to the federal building. We go upstairs, and the next thing you know, we're walking in to, to Mayor Richard Daly's office, okay? We walk in. There's like 20 people all around. All of a sudden, they want Butkus and I behind the desk with, with the mayor. Everybody gathers around. They're taking pictures. And wouldn't you know it, Butkus lets he let a dandy go. He lets it go. Everybody kind of went off, ah, and he turns and he goes, Mayor, what do you have for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> and I, as people scattered, the mayor, I mean, he got flustered. He was red as could be. He goes, that wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, right, Mayor. <laughs> Dick has just called you out. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I got to tell you, son, uh, of all the things oh, I got you were going to tell you, that wasn't was, it. I mean, right. He was so much fun. Tommy, you guys both knew him. You know him better than I do. I mean, this guy, I mean, he was, he, he, he lived life large, man. Yeah. Uh, and, and what a, just what a career, you yeah. know, and regardless of what sport you ever played, I think pretty much everyone around the country would have known who Dick Butkus was and what he had achieved in his time in the NFL. I, I mean, just thinking about that reputation and just, you know, when Mike Dicka says that he's the toughest, you know, what that he ever was ever around and all that, come on, man. I mean, yeah. how, what, how do you get a better endorsement than that?